Hi guys and welcome to another chip technical tutorial. In this one we're going to follow on from one we did previously where we used uh, 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 Node.js uh, and Node.red in order to uh, output some data from chip. In this edition what we're going to do is we're going to take some input from chip. So uh, on the screen here we've got a schematic which shows a switch connected to the I.O. pin P2. Now when that switch is closed, P2 will be brought to 3.3 volts. And when the switch is open, its default state, it will be pulled low via a 1K resistor to ground. So its default state is low, and when the switch is pressed, it goes high. Now the uh, node uh, red uh, package has the ability, as we saw in the last video, to include capabilities from Johnny5. And one of Johnny5's capabilities is to read from buttons. So it provides a button class where uh, we specify the pin we want to read from, and uh, then events are generated when the pin transitions from high to low or from low to high. So let's look at a, a, at a flow we've got here and before we get into that I want to show you one more thing which is the GPIO input. Now this is another one of the Johnny5 nodes for Node Red, and the GPIO input if we bring up its parameters uh, specifies it's a digital pin and allows us to enter the pin number. Now what this will do is this will continuously pull the pin. So the, the uh, node red flow will continuously fire over and over and over again, producing a 1 or a 0 uh, on the output depending on the current signal. And that's great, that's useful, but it's not what I wanted to achieve with a button press because I don't want to continually sample the input. Instead, what I wanted to do was be informed when a button press occurs. So for this one, we have this additional node red component called Johnny5. And when we bring that up, we have the capability to specify some JavaScript, which is executed on the Johnny5 on ready callback. Now, within this JavaScript fragment, we can invoke any of the Johnny5 classes. So uh, I'm not going to go into the details of that. You can go read the uh, Johnny5 technical docs. But looking at this code in front of us, we create a new instance of a button associated with the P2 uh, terminal on chip. And we say that uh, when the button's uh, on method, that's an event, when the up event occurs, then a function is called which sends a payload down the message flow, causes a new message flow to start, where the payload contains the word up. And the other callback we've got here is another event which is invoked when uh, the down event occurs, and here we send a payload of down. Now, if we look at that, that gets piped into the pit into this debugging output here, which will appear here. But then we also switch on it. So we take two different routes. We ask, is it down or is it anything else? Of course, that could only be up. And if it's down, we invoke eSpeak, which is a text to speech to say the words button down. Otherwise, we say the words button up. Now, the uh, uh, flow is already deployed. And if I press the button, then what we hear is the words button down. If I release the button, button up. it says button up. Press it again. Button down. Button up. Button down. Button up. Very cool. And that's really all I wanted to say. Uh, so through Node Red and the Johnny 5 capability, we can uh, register a callback to be invoked when a button changes state and that causes a flow through the message flow here. We see the message debugger here showing us the transitions from up to down and then I switch or take different paths depending upon whether the value was up or down.
Now, obviously, this is a very simplistic solution. Uh, you could uh, enrich this to do whatever you want. I'm also using here, just to illustrate more of Node-RED, I'm using the exec capability here. Exec causes an arbitrary uh, 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 Linux command to run. And the command I'm running here is eSpeak with the string and then piping it into the aplay command, which sounds it off of the speakers. But uh, that could be anything you wanted. So, for example, we could, on a button press, set an LED or to, uh, switch, a, switch a relay or anything else. E emit a message. The list goes on and on and on. All right, that's it. I hope you found something useful in this tutorial, and I look forward to making many more of them in the future. Thanks now, guys. Bye-bye.